In this video, we're going to show you how to properly strip uh, a twisted pair cable, like a Cat5e cable. And it may seem simple to strip a cable, but you can cause quite a bit of damage depending on your stripping technique. So we're going to look at a solid conductor here. And you'll notice that it's really easy to nick conductors, and especially if you have a solid uh, conductor that is a single solid conductor in a twisted pair. Um, that can cause some damage because a nick will travel across as this gets flexed and in time you'll get something like this and the wire will then become intermittent. So I want to show you a couple different techniques that you can use to strip cables successfully. So we have two methods and the first method we're going to show is using a what we call a cheapo wire stripper and um, uh, a small cutter that we're going to use. So we're going to run a video here. We're going to have a little commentary as we do it. And what you'll notice in the video is um, that we stripped that wire, but we've nicked it right there. But we've removed the jacket, so you can use a cheap stripper to remove the jacket. You'll also notice here that there's a couple white elements. One is for strength and one is called a rip cord. So we just cut those off later. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little notch in the jacket and we're going to use what's called the rip cord. That's the small element to actually rip more of the jacket. So as I'm pulling here you can see I'm removing more of the jacket. Remember I've got some nicks in the wire already from the cheapo splitter that I've used. However, I've ripped the jacket down. I'm going to cut off those that conductor that I've nicked. So I've cut it below, so all the conductors now are not been touched. I've used the rip cord to remove the jacket, and now I'm going to trim the jacket. I'll cut off the rip cord. I don't need that. I've cut a flat white ribbon that's used for strength to give the cable some strength. And now I'm going to attempt to cut the jacket. Now you could cut the jacket with a wire stripper, but it's difficult to do. You should have um, a proper set of cutters to do this type of job. But cutters are pretty inexpensive, and if you do this carefully, you can get a relatively um, fairly even jacket. And so you could use a crimp connection now, or you could, um, we'll stop this right here. Um, or you could punch that down. Now for crimp connectors, sometimes you want it a little more even. However, using this technique, you've stripped the jacket off and you've um, and you have not nicked any wires and you've got uh, you've got the jacket cut fairly evenly. Now we're going to look at a second technique which uses a um, what we'll call a cable stripper, which is designed for this task and there are a lot of different types of cable uh, strippers. They usually have a little ring and they have a slot with some grooves in it and here they'll have a knife edge and so the cable is inserted into here and this knife edge is going to score the jacket. Now the one thing you do not want is you do not want the jacket cut. You just want to score or nick the jacket. Do not cut through the jacket because you don't want to damage or potentially damage nicking these wires. So we'll look at this as we do the second video. Okay, so we're going to cut this off and we're going to look at uh, the second type of method that you can use for stripping cable. And so this is the stripper right here. And so one of the things you'll notice here is that there are a number of different indentations depending on the size of the jacket and generally you should use the largest possible. So right here, uh, if that's possible, we should use because we don't want to cut all the way through the jacket.
Now, one thing you'll notice is that I was on the bump here. That typically I shouldn't do that because the jacket or the knife blade will go in a little more. I should have been back a little more into this first indent. Now you make one turn and one turn only. You do not make several turns as you'll see in some videos. And what will happen now is that you twist the jacket to break it apart. Okay, that score is enough to, uh, to make sure the jacket strips and separates fairly easily. So we'll twist it and we'll pull it apart. And again, we have the rip cord and the strength member which we can cut back but what we've got now is a very clean uh, even cut on the jacket all the way around that we can use for uh, making a crimp connector or for punching down. And those are basically the two methods that you should use to strip cable.